Alright guys, um, this is going to be a long anticipated video, uh, I got a few animals, if you've seen my channel, um, like animal list, you'll know what I've got, um, basically I got, I got a few bit of dragons, I got a, both normals, um, that one's a het sandfire, cross of hypo, or sandfire, I can't remember, uh, but that one's a normal het German giant, and believe it or not, they're the same age, but he's just huge. He's like, in fact, I think he might be a little bit old, that one, and he's just massive, he dwarfs him. Um, but, yeah, that can be for anything, like, really quick or anything, but... Uh, I also got out, uh, the baby snakes that I hatched. These are all baby corn snakes. Um, I think you've seen the parents in my videos, it's the ghost motley and the... Amel female. Um, I was told that they were uh, both females by a person I bought them off, but quite apparently uh, they're not. And um, if you're wondering what happened to my Carolina corn, which I used to have the larger Carolina, Carolina corn I had, um, basically I went, I went on holiday a couple months back. I went to Cypress to see my family, for my roots. Um, and uh, uh, my mum's cousin was looking after my animals. And her only job was to water my snakes. That's the only job. My friends done the rest of the things. That was her only job, and she couldn't do that. And she left a little for my California, California, California king snake, California, California king snake, Carolina corn snakes tank, tank tub. Um, and basically he got out, and she didn't know. We didn't know. Um, by the time I got back, he'd been long gone. And even by attempts of trying to search for him, um, we'd never found him in the end. That was a little bit sad, but, well, when he left, the adult female laid some eggs. <coughs> Five healthy eggs. Um, I didn't want her to breed yet, as she's a little bit underweight, so I can guess why she only laid five. But they were all five very healthy, very large baby snakes. These are, these are already a month old, and these are massive. I mean, I've, I, I work at a pet shop, and our babies come in a month old, and they don't any, nowhere near this size. In fact, I saw snow corns are half the, half the size of this, but double the age. It's stupid, but um, yeah, I've got two normals, two big little Carolinas, like this little guy here, which are just got stunning colours, but because the camera's not focusing, you can't see any of them, you can see the black and orange. Um, they have no sense of safety whatsoever. Um, they will dart, and they will, they're looking trying to go down bedside, but they have no sense of, they have no sense of safety, and it's really worrying, because that's why I'm holding him, he just like jumps on my hand. And um, they don't stay still for a second, so yeah, that's, that's issues with that. But yeah, I got two normals, get in, two normals, and I got three anaries. I don't know if you know what anaries and anaphoristic corn. Basically, anaphoristic means all the like orange and yellow and red pigmentation has been taken out of the skin. So all we're basically left is like black, green, and tiny little bit of yellow, tiny little bit of yellow on the neck. Um, I'll show you my up this. My mum kind of fell in love with this one because it was really like really trustworthy of, of humans. Like it wouldn't bite. It would be really calm to hold. Um, he was the first one to hatch. This guy. My mum was like fall in love with him. Uh, so yeah, she claimed it. I'll get him out. Just put it down. You can like watch that snake. Do it so quickly. Thank you not. I'll get him out. Yeah, I got this guy in these um basic. My dad, mum, dad own a uh, uh, sandwich shop in Haven't. Haven't Town Centre, the like posh part of Haven't. Um, I used to be the cooks, now we're going to change it to like Eddins. Um, anyway, I've got these like, they're, like, they're, they're just like standard boxes, but um, um, these were, these guys were in cricket tubs, and I thought they were going to get, they were getting a bit big for cricket tubs. Um, but come the reptile show, I hope you're going to buy some uh, small breeding tubs. But I'll be buying quite a few, like about 20 or 30, because um, I'm going to start building racks soon, because, you know, as you can see, my snake breeding is starting to kick up a little bit. So, yeah, it's useful. Um, I have bred corn snakes and many other snakes before, but as if you're a breeder, you know that it never, ever gets old. From the first time to the hundredth time, you're always going to be so bloody happy when their little head pops out that egg. And I believe, and I'll put some pictures up after this on the video, like a little slideshow of pictures, where I've got, I've got some pictures of them just like, popping out the egg, and me, like, holding them outside the egg. And they are just lovely. I was very careful not to let them bite me because, as you know, baby corn snakes have got really soft teeth when they hatch. And um, if they bite something and it gets caught, then it can damage their teeth for life. 
which means that they won't feed properly, they'll have issues of closing their mouth, which can cause infections, and it's really not, good, not really not a good thing at all. So, don't worry, I was extremely careful when I was getting them out of the eggs. Um, one of them, I think it was one of the anaries that got stuck in the egg, um, basically it turned around and it couldn't find its way out. So I had to get my little my little nail clipping scissors and I had to pick open a massive hole and he just came flying out. <coughs> I think it was this one here actually, yeah this one here. This little guy was one that's got stuck in the egg. Yeah, he spawned like, he spawned like a whole day later because of that little little scenario. Um basically only two of them have actually eaten since being born. The mum's one has eaten twice and this normal here has eaten three times. Um, I am trying to give them like half cut pinkies, but I think it's because they were in such small spaces like cricket tubs. Hopefully the other three will, the other three are, the other, the other three are two animals in the normal, hopefully they'll eat eventually. Um, another one's been attacked by my sister's boyfriend as well, he wants uh, this little, just another one just normal. And I was a bit surprised they wouldn't want an anary, because you know, anaries are awesome, but... Yeah, um, the anaries are all het for ghost motley. Um, if you know that, um, basically like, a uh, ghost so is like a a negative version of an anary. Anaries are like black and grey and goes to like yellow and grey. So it's just like the same sort of thing but just opposite opposite colours. Uh, I've, I've, I've forgot a name for it. I think it, uh, I forgot, I forgot, I've got them, I think it's their name they're, they're opposite for. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll get the beardies out. This is the beardies. The tank needs a bit of a clean. They've only been here about a week now and they've just crapped everywhere. So I want to get my little sand skip room and go through that. Um, I'll get the little one out first. Come in little guy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they are lovely little things. Get them light. They are lovely little things. Um, they're really, really calm. Really, really good feeders. Um, this guy is not as light as I hoped him to be. The other one's really light and like really bright and light. But I'm really hoping for him to be a little bit lighter. But he's still staying quite grey. He's not going to the UV too much. I don't like that. I think I need to get him more to the UV because he's more or less sitting down here in this little corner. Or I might change them to a power sun because that way they can get the UV and like heat all in one. But they are not expensive. And I'll show you my big, my big in one. He's huge. <laughs> yeah, here's the other one. And yeah, he's pretty massive. <laughs> I think you can tell he's bigger than my hand from tail to head. He's massive. Um, he's definitely not scared of anything. And there he is. Um, he's always kept German giant, but he looks like he's got a little bit of sound fire in him. I don't know if you can see it, but he's really bright yellow. Um, and he's got a little bit of red blushing around his ears and eyes and stuff.